This week, a simple game that's totally fair that strangely you get to win whenever you want. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Thrillist and Netflix. Go to www.netflix.com slash scam school for your free trial membership. Welcome to the show that, to be honest, is like dancing with your cousin. Awkward. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and no matter who you are, no matter what you're up to, you can't be too good looking, too muscular. Well, I guess you could be too muscular, but the point is, is you can't know too many ways to screw your friends with a rigged game. So we are going to play a simple game of switching cards. And we get beer at the end. Free beer. Oh my God, gentlemen. It is so good to see you. I'm Brian and you are Frank and- I'm James. James, all right, now I got a question for you guys. Would you classify yourselves as competitive? Hell yeah. All right, who's more competitive? I am. Uh, no, I'm way more competitive than you, no, and also no. way more humble. We're gonna play a little game here. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna explain the rules, and you guys can play against each other. And then you I guys, win. whoever wins, takes on the grandmaster to play for beer. You like it? Now right, here, first of all, you notice I went ahead and I set out all the clubs from king to ace. Now I'm gonna do the reverse of all of the diamonds. Now here's the weird thing: we're only gonna play moving the diamonds. The clubs will stay exactly where they are and the diamonds are gonna be the ones that you guys can move. So here's the game. You can switch any two cards you want during the entire game, all right? Your goal is to get them to line up so that they lock in. For example, if you switched the eight and the six, the eight would be on the eight, the six would be on the six. Once that happens, they're closed out, they're locked in. You with me so far? Now you could choose to move ones that don't line up, you could choose to move some that line up and some that don't, or you could choose to lock them in two at a time, whatever you want. But once they're locked in, they can't be moved at all. The winner is the one who is the last one to lock them in. In other words, the loser is the one who can't make a move because they're all locked in. Make sense? All right, now you'll notice as we go across, the sevens are already lined up. So that's like a free parking space. So we'll go ahead and lock that in now because they're already lined up. So the question is, who wants to go first? I do. <laughs> All right. I love the I love the enthusiasm. Go for it, Frank. Ooh, interesting. He does a fake out. I lock in the jacks. So he locks in the jacks. All right. So flip it over. You locked in the jacks. Good. What? Power play. Two down. Oh, I see. You're too scared to lock in the end. Look at that. Bam. Two in the queen. I lock in both. Let's see it, boys. You lock in the three. Ah! Oh. And James gets the win. All right, now James advances to the final round. So by now, the important thing is that by now, we've number one established who's the better competitor, Me. Frank. <laughs> and second of all, you guys know the rules now, right? Time. Second up, we're gonna you're gonna play against the master, and if you win, I will buy you a free beer. Sound good? All right. All right, dude. But first, we gotta thank our sponsors. You know how you have that one friend who always hooks you up with the cool new bands before anyone else has even heard of them? Well, Thrillist is like that, but for cool new stuff to do in your city. Thrillist is a free daily email, sifts through the crap, and finds the best new bars, restaurants, events, services, whatever it is, they promise it won't suck. Seriously, wouldn't you want to know about a restaurant with a cheeseburger spring roll, or an underground tequila library, or a Star Wars burlesque show? Plus, Thrillist's even got a national version that'll hook you up with scoops on hot new gadgets, gear, and funny sites across the web. Oh, and BT Dubs, did we mention all of that is totally free. So head on over to Thrillist.com slash Scam School and they'll start hooking you up with your sweet, sweet knowledge. And oh, by the way, you'll be keeping us in business. Head on over. All right, we're reset for the Grand Champion Tournament. Now, I want to be very clear here, James. Do you have any questions about the rules? How quickly can I beat you? Oh, wow. So that's how it is. 
And let me be clear, if you win, I will buy you a drink. All right. Because you, sir, are the champion to advance from the semifinals to the grandmaster, I'm going to give you the honors, sir. Go for it. All right. Oh, starting right off with a power play. Allow me to remind you that it was your evasions that got you the win. So I'm going to follow your lead and start with evasions. See how excited they are? They can't wait to see who's going to win. All right. All right, all right. You know what? A boom, another evasion. Are you sweating? Never. You're stealing my tactics. You're throwing cards on the floor. All right, now it's down to business. Um, I'm gonna lock in the five. Oh, I see. Oh, double power play. All right, I'm gonna lock in just the 10. <laughs> <laughs> Do you smell it coming, James? I, yeah, a little bit. Son of a. All right, and that means the victory goes to Brian. All right. Nicely done. Now here's the thing, you get the game, you understand, you play the first hand. I'm gonna tell you there's a secret way to always, 100% of the time, without fail, always win this game. Always. Yes. No matter what. And I will tell you for the cost of only one beer. Are you in? You in? You in? You in? All right, there you go. All right, we're gonna do that, but first we gotta thank our sponsors. Guys, seriously, how great is Netflix? They're up to 12 million members now and the service just keeps getting better. Not only do you have DVDs and Blu-rays sent to you by mail, not only do you download stuff over the internet to your computer, but you can download and watch movies on your Xbox, on your Nintendo Wii, on your PS3, and the list keeps growing. When they're sent over the mail, movies arrive in one business day and there's no due dates or late fees. Take as much time as you want. When you watch it instant streaming, you get instant gratification and the number of titles just keeps going up. Up. Now, most of you know Netflix has been sponsoring us for like 18 million years, but there's only one way that they can know for sure that the sponsorship is working. When you sign up for your free no-risk trial, you gotta go to netflix.com slash scam school. This is the website that tells them that it's my free beers given tutorials that's making them the money, and it's what keeps us in business. Head on over to netflix.com slash scam school so we get credit for your sign up. Now, I get sent a lot of ideas for Scam School, and a lot of them I've seen before, but every so often something comes in that blows me away, and that's exactly what happened with this one. Somebody sent this in telling me they learned it at math camp. Yeah, exactly. In, and in math camp, right? And it's a totally, here's what I love about this game. It's just totally fair, and what you can let all your friends play it all night long, and they'll have all different strategies and theories but the bizarre fact is, and I'm not lying here, that no matter what you do, no matter what your strategy is, no matter how you try to spin it around, no matter what, whoever moves first loses. <laughs> which, is, which is why I get so much satisfaction of people fighting over who gets to go first against each other. And first of all, you can have two different attitudes. Either you could just trust Brian, which is probably not a good idea. But if you want to know how it works from a mathematical standpoint, look at it this way. When we set it up, think of it in terms of odds and even. There are 13 pairs, and then we eliminate one. So now we're down to 12 pairs. So no matter how many turns you take to play, I mean, you could theoretically, both of you, keep moving the same two back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and never do it. No matter what, it'll take an even number of moves in order to lock up all 12 cards. As a result, whoever goes first is all the odd numbered moves, so whoever goes second is the even number moves. Just to illustrate how this works, let's play a stupid game where I'm never going to lock any in. I'm okay. going to do nothing but, but shuffle. Here, I'll go first, so that means I should lose, and I slot those two. And so you locked one in. You notice that only one yeah. lined up. That's because I was off kilter here. So that forces me to make a move where I have to lock one in, and that brings it back to where you end up winning. Because it always has to end I win. on an even number <laughs> of turns, right? Yes. Any questions about this one? You guys got it down? 
Dude, you guys are freaking awesome. Thank you so much. Win some money. Use it in good health. First and foremost, I want to give a huge thank you to Ben Wilson for sending this in over email. Second of all, while I love this trick, there is a flaw. When you play over and over again and you're always insisting on going second, people are going to smell something up. So I recommend get all your friends to play against each other. Not only will they learn the rules of the game, but they'll become convinced that one of them is smarter or better than all the rest. Finally, set up an epic challenge where you face off and whoever was the one you're up against, they get the honors of going first. Use it once and then you're out. Now I want to hear about your success stories and failure stories, so post them at the boards at revision3.com slash scam school where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scam school or find out when I am in your hometown doing spontaneous scam school meetups at twitter.com slash schwood. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com and join us next week because we are going to learn how to rob parking meters using a donut and an eight ball. That one sounds complicated. Till then, back at the bar.